Hello, good people. How are you? Nice to talk to you again. It's been a while. Anyway, I told you um, a couple of videos back that I had gone to the Chameleon comic shop and uh, I plan to uh, make a haul video for you. So we have some uh, comic books that I had uh, purchased there and some, uh, some uh, ball cards, baseball cards. So let's get to it right away. Let's take a look at it right now. Let's get this set up. So anyway, we have, uh, I had purchased this, Metal Men. This is, uh, I remember this as a kid. This is, uh, Metal Men is, uh, each one of these characters is another element. So this is uh, platinum. This is uh, gold. Metal Men. So they're against uh, the Robot Eater. Oh, from, from Met Metalus, Metalus 5. This is a very interesting retro uh, kind of uh, comic. Here you see platinum. This She's turning into a like a race car, and this is this here is Mercury, turns into a space a saucer. Let's let's see what else they do. This this one I didn't happen to read. I hear that these comics are becoming something of uh, of an, an investment lately. So anyway, let's see. Here, let's take a look at this. There's Targola eating metal. He's he's impervious to attack. I'll give you the special ray gun and send you off. There's no time to waste. Here, so this is uh, okay. Interesting. It's, there's a menace to the populace, and uh, the metal men are sent off to. Uh, to defend. Here, this is lead over here. You can see a very large uh, 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 menace we're talking about. He's larger than a building. This is iron. He uses his power against him. Very powerful. Caps, caps hobby hints. And here this is uh, Superman. This is an advertisement for Superman. and Metal scraps. This is like letters to the editor. So there's this one here. Let's see the next one. Metal Man. This one I did happen to read. This one is. Um, let's take it out. Out of the uh, cover here. This is uh, Chemo, the Chemical Menace. They're against him. This is from the uh, 60s, 1967. Here you see, this is uh, Doc, Tina, Mercury, Gold, Lead, Iron, Tin, Nameless. That's, they don't know what to name that metal. Very interesting. Look back into, oh, here, look at this. This is Bob Hope. Remember Bob Hope, the comedian? This is the golden rule. Let's uh, record it for you so you can re read it. So that's uh, Bob Hope. He's giving a, a lesson for the kids, for the, for the children.
Let's see what else. Metal scraps, that's the letters to the editor. Here, this is uh, chemo. Chemo, that's the chemical menace. This is gold. He's, uh, he's got walking around and doing damage to the populace. Here he is. Kind of very uh, retro type art. Plastic Man. Oh, Plastic Man right over there. And Direct Currents. That's DC, the comic company. Oh, there, this is uh, Metal Man, they, what happened, they, over here, they succeeded in uh, pushing him into the sea. At that moment, Chemo leaves the bed of the sea, and we, and he continues on his inexorable way full of volcanic ire. He's angry. So he's going to try to do damage. Suddenly the gusty wind blows home some of the tin powders at the, at the malignant menace. The powders got driven into Chemo's eyes, stinging him into leaving his grip, into losing his grip. He's falling. So there he's falling again into the sea, hurt, hurtles Chemo. Meanwhile, Chemo has surface, surfaced and emerges onto a beach. Run! It's Chemo! No one can stop him! Looks very fearsome. They seem to know. It's, it's Chemo. No one can stop him. They use their uh, powers they, against him. This here is uh, Mercury. He's uh, in competition with gold to lead the group. This, this looks like it's gold. He's gold. Oh, it looks like they're going to be... Uh, they're going to be uh, confronting him now. Gold is leaving on the jet... The jet, the jet away, the jet away. Chemo has grabbed, has grabbed, hold, good. Here he's holding on, Chemo is holding on. Interesting stuff. Suddenly gold forms himself into a lock and... Tina, the chemo, Tina, the chemo while I lock his mouth. Let's see how long it will be before pressure causes him to blow his top. The enraged chemo, he, they got him to make himself angry. The enraged chemo locked by gold blows himself to bits inwardly like a volcano. Oh, that's how they get rid of the menace of chemo. And then there was a uh, another uh, subplot here where Doc, their leader, is, uh, was ailing, and uh, Platinum Platinum was uh, nursing him back to back to health. Platinum is uh, very interested in Doc; she likes him. Here, this is, uh, here, we have some more of that. And they need the, the Platinum, but Platinum refuses to leave uh, Doc's side over here. Right, the top panel. Another brief visit to Doc finds the situation unchanged, as, here, this is Gold talking, there's just the two of us left. 
now to battle chemo. Tina, Tina is platinum. Won't you join us? Doc's all right where he is. He's resting comfortably. So this is Tina. No, I won't rest until he opens his eyes so I can see for myself that my darling Doc is all right. Sorry, I can't join you until then. So this is, uh, this is Mercury, spoken just like a female. Oh, that's a little bit politically incorrect these days, but this was 1967. Now, let's see here. This is the next panel here. I'd just as soon not have Tina along in our battle against chemo. This is uh, Mercury. So, and this is gold. He's the more sensible one. Uh, he's the hot-headed one. This is uh, Mercury. I disagree. Platinum's a very valuable metal to have along in any fight. I hope she changes her mind and joins us. Anyway, they get back to the battle against chemo. Oh, chemo sees a submarine and he's... Meanwhile, like an underwater volcano, Kino vents his rage against the sub. He's got to be pretty big to, to be able to do that. Anyway, they save the sub. So that's kind of interesting. Oh, and then there was the uh, this bell, the diving bell. So they uh, they're able to the chemo uh, detaches the um, lifeline, the 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 airline. So they're in danger. So uh, the two the metals come together and they somehow create a tube of air to bring to these. Uh, to the, the the divers in the bell, and uh, they save them. And so, as the bathysphere is being hauled up, thanks to gold, we can breathe again. Mercury Mercury follows as the bathysphere reaches the surface. Thanks, gold, you've saved our lives. Hooray for gold! Okay, let's see the next one here. These are. Uh, Comics that I had purchased at the uh, Chameleon, Chameleon uh, comic shop, co comic and sports cards. This is Metamorpho, the element man. He's trapped, he's tangled, he's in total trouble. So this here is, he's able to make, he's also able to make himself into various elements. And this look, these look like... Uh, you know, robots uh, in, uh, of that time, you know, perceptions of a robot, I thought that was interesting. From ret very retro, very, uh, these are the players here. Rex, Metamorpho, Mason, Mr. Molecules, Simon Stagg, Mr. Modest Millions, Sapphire, Miss, mm, Java, Mr. Musclehead, El Matanzas, Mr. Mad Manus. These are the people that are the uh, players here. Here, these are the uh, ancient robots that are left over from a different time. This one I happen to have read. It turns out that the robots are have a mind of their own. And they turn against all of them. The valley that time forgot. Kind of a lighthearted uh, video today. Oh, so what's happening here? Uh, let's see. This is uh, the Element Man. It looks like he's uh, again the huge machine men charge the Element Man. Okay, you guys, 
want to stay in training, be my guests. Only, how do you use this gimmick? I learned from my reading my King Arthur yarns. So he's turning his uh, hands into hammers, into balls of spikes to uh, topple them, it looks like. Now it's time for Horatio at the Bridge Act. Still want to play? Okay, so they're following him. The okay, how about the follow the leader? Destroy him. Obliterate him. They're running after him. At the f as, as the phosphorus burns br bright and hot. Oh, I see what he, we see what he's doing here. He's going to make a... going to burn the bridge right under their feet. Believe me, Bridge, this cuts me up too. But, like I've got no choice. And as the great bulk of the machine's bridge beams tremble the small span, Geronimo, for a wrong way drawbridge. We sink the great weight of this bodies we made betrays us. Oh, they were aliens and they went into bodies of robots because they thought that would make them immortal. You get the general idea, idea chums. So, metamorpho, metamorpho, you did it, my boy. The water will clog those me mechanisms forever. So, so that's how they defeat these beings. Oh, here's a here's the old Bob Hope. Bob Hope uh, comics. So that was uh, Bob Hope was from DC also. Kind of a retro. Uh, well, it's from 1967. Excalibur. Oh, this these were uh, cheaper. These uh, comics here. Girls' School from Heck. Let's see this. Excalibur. It looks like they're, they're in a girl's school. This from the this book is from the nineties. I think the early nineties. This was uh, a cheaper comic. This was about a, a dollar approximately. And uh, you know, it goes on. Interesting. Let's see if it goes further on. Yeah, so that's so this is looks like it's the end. Yeah, here this is the end. Hardcore. That was about a dollar also. They had like a few dollar. I bought these uh, a couple of times. I had gone to the area. Oh, Will Eisner's The Spirit. I remember The Spirit. So this was also about a dollar approximately. This was not Will Eisner. These, this is other artists that had uh, that are taking over for him and doing the artwork for him, the stories and the artwork in the, in the 
spirit, shall we say, in the, the way that he would have done it. So this is the spirit. Will Eisner's the spirit. These are the other artists here. Matt Wagner, Dan Schade, Brennan Wagner. Shadow, Shadow Riders. These are various comics. These are collectibles that I had uh, purchased when I, was, when I was in the City Hall area. At the... Uh, That's a good, that's a very nice place, the Chameleon Comic Shop.